Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing this foundation as well as this concealer and showing you how I got this look. If you're interested, stay tuned. Alright, so like you just saw in the intro, I'm going to be just playing with a little bit of makeup. Um, I haven't worn makeup in a while. I'm actually someone who does not like to wear makeup like that. But I figured that I would try this out and maybe make a couple reels. We'll see. So the first thing, my mirror is over here, so that's what you'll see me looking at. I'm going to just put a little bit of um, lip gloss on. Not lip gloss, but like, I don't know. Yeah, lip gloss. Like back in the day when your lips were looking all luscious, that's what I'm putting on. So we're going to start off with, I keep all, like, I have this little pouch where I keep the things I grab the most. And so we're going to start off with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Um, so like I mentioned to you guys, I don't really wear makeup like that like I just I don't know I don't mind being natural like I have dark spots but I'm okay with it like I'm okay with how my face is I feel like I don't know not that everyone wears makeup and nothing against people who wear makeup because I understand um, I understand that people like wear makeup like I really do understand that but I just don't like it it's an extra step I like to be as simple as possible but like I don't know I don't know if society requires it like I don't know if it's awkward when you watch my videos and I don't wear makeup I don't know but it's not that it bothers me because I like to be this way and this is how you're gonna see me and I want you guys to know that when you see me out in the streets this is what you're usually gonna wear gonna get do I wear makeup yes but do I wear it often no I do not um, so here we have the Dior forever skin glow in the color SN so this is what I wanted to try out I have not tried this at all but i wanted to i think who did i see with it janae from hilo lux had like this dior foundation and she just like confirmed that i should try this out so that is what we're doing i'm just dipping it in here i usually don't dip my things in foundation um because i just think that's nasty to dip it in here i'll probably just come up close and do it right here you're gonna see me looking in the viewfinder because my mirror is just, I should probably just put it in front of me. But yeah. So yeah, I don't wear makeup like that and that's okay. And it's not like to say, oh, this is orange. Woo. Let's see how it looks over, like once I blend it, this is like it looks okay there probably in front of you but in like looking on my mirror right here it looks orange but we'll see um but yeah it's not to say that I would never like increase my makeup wear or maybe I wouldn't I don't know I just I like to be so simple guys like I really do I really really do I don't know I'm liking how so it looks like it's actually blending a little bit more I'm looking for a new foundation so I like to go in the store and try like to get samples so I'm not wasting my money on an entire like foundation Ooh, this actually looks good so I started off looking orange I don't mind looking darker um, and then I'll highlight where I need to but I love I'll go up a color usually because I prefer looking darker as opposed to like that ghost ashy look oh I am I think I'm gonna buy this for sure like oh, I 
really like this. Put a little bit. Yeah. I like this. Do you guys see? Like, I really like this a lot. Let me see if it'll. Do you see that? Like, I really like this. So, yeah, that's. That's just my take on that. Um, so that's that. Then I purchased, again, so the, this concealer I'm gonna be trying, they couldn't give me like a sample. So I was just like, let me just buy the sample size. And this is NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I got this in Walnut. So let's see how that goes. So this is how it looks, small. Again, if I like it, I will purchase it. I am pretty much at this point, there you go, obsessed with anything Fenty Beauty. So that's what I've been using for the most part. So I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. This is just what I do to highlight. Maybe, is it me? Like, I feel like the camera doesn't show, like, it looks okay on camera, but in person, this looks like a bit yellow. But again, like the foundation, I'll just give it a little bit of time. And usually I'll just let this dry, like get a little bit tacky. And that's what I'll do while I'm like, there we go. I think I just had to turn down the light, the lighting a little bit so you guys can kind of see. So yeah, what have you all, I let it, I didn't let it dry that much, but it's okay. Or maybe I should have, it's not like as tacky. Um, so a little bit of what I've been doing. I recently purchased a vlog camera. Don't ask me why. Well, feel free to ask me why, but don't ask me why. Like a rhetorical question. Um, I recently bought a vlog camera. We'll see if I decide to vlog. Um, I also do reels, like I mentioned. I feel like I'm just gonna, depending on how my makeup end up ends up looking because I'm I'm really just trying these products the concealer and the foundation um, but I may do a couple reels but I heard that the vlog camera that I got is actually really good for reels um, for my reels I usually will just use my the camera on my phone which is fine, it's not awful, it's not. But I just figured like if I don't, like if I decide I'm not gonna vlog, at least I can use the camera for something. I ended up getting the, um, this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I ended up getting the Canon G7 Mark II, I think that's, what it was the mark 2 cuz I heard the mark 3 is not that good so I went with the mark 2 just to just to see how it works and hopefully it works I was recently asked on here um, I've actually been asked a couple times and I usually don't answer the question um, and I'm semi going to answer the question right now, but I get asked, how do I afford, like, my handbags and, like, all the stuff that I purchase? And the answer is work. I do work. I have a job. Would I love to do this full time one day? Of course. Um... I think I would like to do this full time one day. It's sometimes scary because I'm like, 
like when I sit down and I think about it, I'm like, okay, how would I do it managing time? And like, I'm a procrastinator. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I get, I get stuff done. Like I get, when I need to do something, trust and believe I am going to get it done. But I'm a procrastinator. Like I do great with a little bit of time. Like I'll get, I focus and I sit down and I get stuff done. But then sometimes I'm like, is that a good thing? Like how would I do, realistically, how would I do, like if I was a content creator, is that feasible? Is that something I could do? I don't know. I don't know because I have not, I am not a full-time content creator. I have a job, I work. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's still a question that I ask myself often. But I'm a doer, so if I had to do it, I definitely would do it. So I'm just doing my brows. Like I said, I'm a Fenty Beauty girl, so this is the Fenty Beauty eyebrow. Let's see if it'll focus. And if it doesn't focus, then that's okay. My camera like focuses on me, so sometimes it's hard for it to focus. But it's the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. Let me come face here nope it's still trying to find me. there it's the MVP um but yeah to and to go back to what I was originally saying I have a job um, and that's how I'm able to buy the things that I buy again I've said this before you know just make sure that when you buy these things that your bills are paid at the minimum at the minimum I always say try to like you you want to make sure you're saving money as well but at the minimum make sure that your bills are paid is all I'm gonna say you don't want to be out here with like a Louis bag and you owe rent or a mortgage payment like that's a no that's not having your priority straight. Make sure your priorities are straight before you're out in these streets with a Louis bag full of debt. To so know. We don't know. No, no. Don't do that. Um, and again, would I ever leave my job? Oof. That's a tough question. And it's a tough question because I love what I do. I love what I do. Right now, it's busy. Like, I feel like busy is almost an understatement. I don't know what's worse than busy, hectic. It's insane. But I still love what I do. Um, so, I don't know if I would ever leave my job. I could probably decrease my hours even more, um, but I wouldn't necessarily, I don't know if I would leave my job, because again, I love what I do. So I usually just, I think my brows, I think they look okay. I don't do anything insane. I pretty much just fill my brows in. like. Some people have to draw their brows in. I fill my brows in. My brows are natural. I don't like, I don't get them shaped. I don't get them plucked. I don't do any of that stuff. I have like, I should have dusted this off because now it's like dry, dry. So I'm just using the sponge. It's damp. I know it sounds basic, uh, but make sure you damp your brush. I mean your sponge. This sponge is from Amazon. It's so good. It's like so bouncy. Oh, do you see that? It's so bouncy. I love it. I love this. I'll try to link it down below um, if you're looking for a brush. I think I'm good. You ever like overdo it? I'm not trying to overdo it. And usually my makeup doesn't take this long. It's just that I'm chit chatting. 
So I'm trying to prioritize talking to you guys and doing my makeup. I usually don't wear shadow. But do I want to try shadow today? I think I do. Hmm. I think I'm going to try the, this is an old, old, old palette. <laughs> like, this is the Jackie Ina Anastasia um, Beverly Hills collab. But I think I'm going to try it. This is like the colors. Uh, what do I want to do? Hmm. What do I want to do on the eyes? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I'm not a shadow girl. And I don't even know how to like put the colors together. I think it's... Alright. We're going to use ginger, which is this. Let me just cover this. It's this color right here. So I think I'm going to do ginger and then edges um so let's see say a quick prayer for me i'm just putting ginger do i want to use my finger i like easy so i'm just gonna use my finger and just put it everywhere I wanna so another thing like I'll get asked questions on like how products are but I don't know if you guys want to see like reviews I don't see why you wouldn't like cuz I like if I'm looking for something and I want to check YouTube I do like reviews of products but I don't know if it's too much to show you the product and then like review it later on I don't know maybe I'm overthinking it Maybe I just need to like, so this is edges. Maybe I just need to do more and just question less. Maybe that's what I'll do. Do more, question less. Cause you guys do ask me. Like a question I get, I get a lot of questions on, is this edges? I'm lying, this is credit. I'm like, this is dark. Like, this is pretty dark. But it's because it's credit, which is like this dark brown color right here. Yeah, it's credit. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna, maybe I'll just do it. I get questions on the Louis Vuitton, like my platform. I'm just blending this in. My platform. Um, shoes. Again, nothing too crazy. Hmm, I kind of want to add like something to brighten up there a little. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of ginger just to kind of highlight. No, that was a little too dark. Soleil, it's glittery, so I don't. And here is where I start causing problems because. I don't, don't ask me why I went in with a glitter shadow. We're going to let it go. We are going to let that go. I'll probably just put it right here, like in my inner, my inner corner in here. And then just like blend this entire thing out. When I start making mistakes, I will blend this thing out and hope for the best because that's all you can do in life try and hope for the best i don't even know if you guys can i feel like i need to come back a little for you to almost see i think i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna let it go i'm gonna let that one be and then i have my other baggy guys i have things like don't think I am like this organized person because I'm not I know where everything is so truly that's all that matters to me but I don't have like this fancy some people have like their desks all organized with their mm -mm. 
I know where everything is. I have a Ziploc bag, I have my little bag that I showed you guys, and then I figure everything out. Um, I'm using the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Mocha Mommy. And I'm just bronzing. I'm not like a harsh contour. When I use the bronzer, it comes out like contour, but I'm not. It's, it's bronzer, just to add some color back. So I'm doing, dare I talk about the vid? No, don't feel like it. I feel like everyone else talks about it enough. So we're gonna not talk about that right now. Let's not talk about that. By the way, here's the plug. If you're not checking me out on Instagram, go check me out there. I share reels, fashion, like obviously fashion because this is a fashion channel. But I share like outfit of the days and things like that on there. So if you're not checking me out, go check me out. Carla.Simon19 on the gram. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Like, I love it. It just looks so natural. And that's so me. I'm not like a... Like, I want you to know I'm wearing makeup, but I don't want you to know I'm wearing makeup, if that makes sense. Take some of this. I have... The brush, either the brush is shutting or something. Something shutting. All right. The brush is shutting. For sure. I think that's. That like covers like my major thing. Now I'm gonna figure out. Actually, no. No. I didn't do my la my mascara, my lashes. Do I want to wear lashes or do I want to keep it simple? I think I want to keep it simple. So I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash um, Mascara. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do lashes, but mm -mm. I think I'm going to put like, do individual lashes. I was supposed to do it last week, but the girl is sick, so I have to wait. I don't know if she's sick, like, I need to isolate and quarantine sick, or if she's just sick, because that's the thing. People are also just sick with, like, the flu and stuff. But either way, I'll just wait, but I'm gonna try some lashes. Just to see, because ashes, lashes make, not ashes, lashes make a difference in like your face and stuff. I'm not about putting that thing on every day, because it takes some time. It's not hard. It used to be hard for me, but it takes time. If I can make it easier on myself, I will. I like this mascara, and as you can see, I'll like go over it a few times just so that it like makes my lash look longer. It's almost like the extra mascara will go on the tip of my lashes just so it can grow a little, like look longer. Again, my shadow isn't doing the most. Like, you could tell I have shadow, but it's not, like, doing the most. I'm simple. Simple, simple. All right. I'll probably just put a little bit of setting spray. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's 
spray some of that. Just a little. A little. A little. Do I want to put highlight? I have the Lorac Tantalizer. I love, 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 love this highlighter. I remember like years ago, I don't even know if I'm supposed to be keeping my highlight for that long. I've n I have not used this one, but years ago I purchased so many of them because I was obsessed with it. I don't know if you can still find it, but I was obsessed with this. It's actually like a baked bronzer, but I use it as a highlight because it's subtle. Like you know I have highlight, but you don't know I have highlight. And that's what I like about it. Like I really, and as you guys can see, like there's no, like some brushes are made for like whatever you need to do it with, but I don't use my brushes for their intended purposes. If I can make it work for something else, I will. So as far as lips, I think I'm gonna go red, but I don't know if I wanna do the Lip Bars Cosmo. This is by Black One Brand. I've shared this on my channel before. I got this from Target. So a Black One Brand at Target. Look at the packaging. Is this so this is a red but it's like like a burgundy like a, it's not like a red red and I think I want like no mm -mm. it's like a dark red but I'll just put that on not fully on because I'm not gonna use fully this but I ended up like I was looking for that bronze that highlighter and I found this YSL, I have a collection of lip stuff, but this is a YSL matte stain. Um, and this is it, I don't know if you guys can see. Hopefully you can. Let's see how red that is. Hmm. Yeah, so this, is the red I'm talking about like that candy apple red that that red that changes like makes your teeth look extra white this smells divine I made a mess on the corners. Hmm. I don't know. Do I like it? Hmm. I don't know. It's like a blotchy red. Hmm. Let me get something to like get this off my lips. Cause I don't know if I love it. I like it. I don't know if I love it. I want to love it. So I ended up wiping it off, but it said it was a lip stain, and you can tell. I need some coffee. I'll show you guys. This is my coffee. Um. So. For my iced coffee, I have an iced coffee machine, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I, so, quick story. Quick story as I'm trying to find a good red. Um, so our ice machine, like our refrigerator dispenses ice, but it's not working. And then I was like, do I wanna buy a new refrigerator? We went and looked at refrigerators, but I was just so indecisive that my husband for Christmas decided to just buy me an ice machine. So we have an ice machine. So I technically don't even need my iced coffee maker. It's not awful, but I don't need it. So I'm probably gonna get rid of that. And now what I've been doing is I'll go to like Target or something and I'll purchase 
the Starbucks blonde rose ice like iced coffee it's in the refrigerator aisle I'll buy that and then I'll buy the creamer and I just make my iced coffee at home and it's so good this is the um, Starbucks cinnamon dolce creamer oh, it's so good so for oh and let me show you guys I want to show you guys something which is actually really good that I just did that because I thought about it I'm like did I mess up my straw I didn't do you guys see I put my lips and there's like no can you see like it didn't come off and that's the YSL lip stain so I think if I'm ever gonna use that I'm not gonna today because I want something more like vibrant if I'm ever gonna use that I know that I'm not gonna get like transfer because it's still red it's kind of coming off on my oh is it or is that so my fingers clean yeah it is kind of coming off on my finger but I know that I'll still have like some kind of residue let's try that no I don't like this one where is my red I have this red one that never fails. Never fails. Cannot find my favorite red. But let's see. So this guys is one of my major like issues. I have tons and tons of lippies. So not red enough. How do I have all these lippies, but not one red? We may have to use the BH Cosmetics like red that I have here. It's not the red I'm going for. I have this. Where is it? I hope I did not lose that because it's literally my favorite red. When I want a red, that's like the red I'm going for. But we'll do this. This is the BH Cosmetics. Does it even say which one? But it's one of their reds. Let's see. It'll do. Again, not what I'm looking for. It's a little dark. Vibrant red. I went under my lip. That's okay. We'll make it work. I love a red lip on brown skin. Oh, like it just, like I just love it. I love it so much. This color, like, you want to be quick and make sure that you don't, because it's already dry. Like, it's already dry. Mm, 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 mm. I love a red. Just give me a red lip all day, every day. And I'm just happy, I'm content. But I think that is it with this makeup. Already I can tell that I love the foundation, um, which was the Dior Skin Glow. And like, do you see this? I'm loving the highlight. This is perfect, I'm definitely gonna go get the bigger size because I like it but that is that's it love it do you oh my god I love this look I just do you guys see this I just look so it's just perfect guys this foundation I'm gonna get it I'm going to get it it just looks so 
good. And the lip actually, I like the lip. Hmm. See, you gotta try. You never know what the end result is going to be. You just don't. Look at how, oh, I just, I'm in love with myself right now. Again, I love makeup. I love my natural skin as well. But I, when I do the makeup, I love when it just, the result is fantastic. I'm not great. I'm not great with the shadow. I've already said that. But yeah, that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little try on of my foundation and my concealer and I'm, I hope you love the end result. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Also remember to check me out on Instagram. Remember to be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Love yourself and love others as well. See you in the next video.